Yeah, we are finishing the pier after leveling. We finish the pier by putting the cylinders on top of the pad and remove the jack. We secure it with the metal shims. Now we are ready to remove the jack and put the other cylinder, install the other cylinder right next to it. After that, the pier is going to be installed, completed <clears throat> for the years to come. <clears throat> As you can see, we're installing the other, the other cylinder right next to the the first one. We trim it up, and it's good to go. Uh, as many chimps as needed to secure it, slide it up, that's the finished product right there. We have the other one right next to it, we're going to do the same uh, technique, we start the cylinder. This is the other one that we just finished. After we finish the pier installation, the guys are behind us. The back filling. This is the other pier right next to it. We have two jacks installed over there. On this one, this is the very corner. That's the other one over there. That's where the gas line is.
Yeah, after we secure the cylinder, we are ready to retrieve the, the jack, which is our equipment. And we are going to be ready to install the next uh, cylinder, right next to it. And then the other cylinder goes right in. All we have to do is uh, chim it up and move to the next. Sledgehammer to make sure that it's uh, tight enough and it's going to be falling off. We put 10,000 psi of pressure in these piers so after we hit the barrel, the pier is not going anywhere. All our jobs are coming with the engineer certification any potential buyer is going to request that before purchasing the house a foundation repair for a uh, reputable company with engineer certification and uh, lifetime warranty on it there you have